Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we are back with the Samsung Verizon Fascinate. Um, you know that to do at this point, it's got Bing on it by default, you can't use Google Search by default, Google Maps isn't on there by default, but we're about to put Google back into the Fascinate and here's how we did it. There you see the home screen looks a little more normal and we're doing it with Launcher Pro, right? We've got three home screens by default, you can do more. You have a little uh, HTC Leap-esque feature so you can hop back and forth between one and another. You got those cool icons down at the bottom and you have an application launcher that looks more stock. Cool. You also have a whole bunch of you know, settings you can do in uh, Launcher Pro. You can use any other launcher for this ADW uh, slide screen. There are a whole bunch out there, right? We've talked about these to no end. But kind of the big deal is Google Search, right? By default, everything is routed through Bing, but here's what I've done. I got a little uh, G icon there, and all that is is a little bookmark to Google.com. So you can search through Google. Works nicely, right? There's the bookmark. I bookmarked it in the browser. And then we'll go to a clean screen, show you how to add it. Go to shortcuts. And this takes a little longer than it should on the Fascinate. That's kind of interesting. And then bookmark and choose Google and there it is a little Google search bookmark very simple it's not the same as the uh, widget I know let's show you the widget again it actually is on the phone so if somebody tells you oh the Google search widget isn't on the phone it is on the phone and it works let's show you what happens we did this previously on another video too we'll search for Android and it gets routed through Bing so the widget itself works there's just something on the phone that's saying all right run the search through Bing and not through Google and that's really not what we want to do. Now, here's something else I've done. So I put a Blingo on here. You worry about voice search? Well, Blingo will search for Android search and thinking. And hey, look at that. Blingo routes through Google, too. So you have voice search just like normal. Not a problem. Now, Blingo's 10 bucks. I understand that it's expensive, but we've covered it extensively. It's a great app. I love it. Uh, another one. How about the market? Google Maps, right? It's in the market. You can go and download it. Little pro tip, don't try to launch Google Maps from the market. That keeps crashing. I don't know why, whatever. But there it is. You see, that's the update that just came out today. So we'll go back and actually run Google Maps. Don't run it from the market. Go to the home screen. Go to the launcher. Look at that. Pinch to zoom, which isn't in the Bing Maps app. So you have pinch to zoom. You have, it's Google Maps, right? We've all used that before. Uh, you have navigation. Let's just tool around here and find some place to navigate to. I'm indoors, so GPS is a little spotty right now. And let's see, yeah, it's not gonna find the address. But there we go, you can still navigate, navigate. It's Google Maps as the way it should be, right? So we did all this without rooting. The phone is not rooted, although I expect the root to be released anytime now, right? It's a Galaxy S phone, it's been rooted for a while, so we should see it soon. But this is all stock. This is all stuff you can do with you know minimal amount of money and time really takes about 10 seconds. So there you go. We put a little Google back into the Samsung Fascinate. See you, everybody.